Okay, guys, we have here another Olight. And I have to say, I've been very impressed with these guys. I did a review on one, and uh, they liked my review, so now they send me others. And like I said, I, I do like these suckers. They're very, very uh, rugged, tough lights and bright as, bright as I'll get out. And I've been impressed so far, so I don't think you know, this would be any different. I'd be surprised. But um, yeah, we're going to unbox it, check out what we get, and then uh, the real test is going to be we'll take it outside and compare it to a standard LED and see how it works. But, um, you know, hopefully it doesn't let us down. So far, they've been pretty, uh, pretty solid products, man. So, we get first off, read me, thank you. Okay, well, pretty standard packaging, it looks like. Got the light, it's got uh, the same old uh, detachable clip as before. And once it gets on there, it really gets on there. What else do we have here? What's in here? Oh, uh, let's see. Okay, we'll just open this. I see it now. What do we have here? Uh, it looks like a little charging mount, but this has got... Oh, yeah, that's got suction cups, so... It'll stick on the table pretty good on your on your desk or something, I guess. Pretty cool. Huh. And your USB charger. Oh, I see. Okay, so pretty basic. Charge that in. Stick it. Yeah. That's pretty cool. And I guess you just stick this sucker in your computer or something. Or you can have an attachment plug, but yeah. So I guess you can have it on your computer desk and, oh yeah, magnetic like the others. I like this, uh, it's a bit better than the little snap cap one they have on. Uh, yeah, that's a pretty strong little magnet too. Yeah, pretty strong little magnet. And of course the instruction book and there's something else in here. Lanard, yeah, standard little lanard there in case you need it, but uh, that's pretty much what you're gonna get. But let's actually take this sucker outside and see how it works out compared to a standard old LED light. Put them against your standard LED and see how it works out. So let's make it happen. Okay, it's pretty windy out here, but what I'm going to do is go to the end of the line here and run back here with each of the four settings on the on this light here. Starting from, uh, we'll do the low, medium, and high. So I'll start with the low, go down there, turn it on, then run this way so you can see how bright it is. Okay, that is the low, the medium,
that is medium. Next we'll go to high. Okay, and that is our high setting. You can see that sucker way back there. Next, I'm going to do a little search here using a standard LED light, and then I'm gonna come back and use the Olight S10R on low power for comparison. So here we go, standard LED first. Okay, that's the LED. Let's drop it right here. Next, the S10R for Tom Barden, third generation, Olight. Okay. Okay. For another uh, just an example here, we're gonna put this down here on this side of the uh, this little tennis court, standard tennis court. Give you an idea. I'm going to go on the other side of the fence, and I'm going to use a standard LED. Then I'm gonna use the Olight, the uh, Barton ge third generation here, S10R, right? We're gonna use all different settings from low, medium, high, uh, and of course the, the moonlight. So, gonna use this guy first, and then the three, or the four settings on this guy. All right, so let's start.
Okay, our last demonstration here. We are about 10 feet away from this wall and I'm going to use a standard LED and then the uh, Olight. Again, this is the S10R Barton third generation. So, start with the LED here, which is okay, not bad, but let's do the low here. You can see the difference. All right. This is the O light. This is standard LED. Now we'll intensify. That is going to be the uh, medium high. Low, medium, high. You can see this guy really no comparison all right okay so that is a bright little sucker man and uh, again let's go over some of the features here I'm going to show you the uh, different modes that it has but um, you got your moonlight right Half a half a lumen, 15 day, low 12 lumen, take you 33 hours. Got 120 lumens, last you 160 minutes, and then the high will take you an hour and a half, um, 60 minutes to an hour and a half, um, and that go up to uh, your 600 lumens. So again, this is a uh, impact proof. And waterproof right pretty durable pretty durable little light just like the others uh, of course third generation um, I guess this uh, charger here and it's kind of cool give you a little indicator like the old uh, little button clip magnetic clip magnetic as well but it's got suction cups so you can stick it down on a table or something and if it's charging you got a positive uh, signal there you know red it's charging green there's power in there so you know for sure Pretty cool, but as you saw out there, pretty bright. The features, you're going to just, uh, that's your low. Just hold the button and you get different intensities. That's gonna be the, uh, your, the first is moon, this is low, medium, high. And then, of course, like the others, if you really wanna do that strobe effect, just click it three times, and there you go, right? So that's pretty cool. And it'll remember where you're at. Let's say if you stop it on bright, you know, on your high setting, it'll lock it high setting. Just whatever setting you like, shut it off there, and it has memory that'll hold it there. So, uh, yeah, just low, back on it low. So, again, something pretty cool you want to keep, like, let's say, in the uh, glove compartment, you have a bug out bag, you know, EDC, you know, those of you guys want a little light or something, couldn't hurt. I mean, especially if you work late at night, you know get out when it's late you never know when something like that come in handy and then again it's rechargeable so you know charge it up once a week put it back in your bag uh, put it in your glove box or whatever you know once a month or so you know, just depends I mean this sucker will hold it's charged for a good while as long as you don't accidentally press it but it does have a lockout feature too but you gotta really press it it's not like it's gonna come on on accident you really gotta get a good firm you know um, press on that but again durable rugged and very good for like if you're going to be out uh, let's say you're a hunter you like camping and hiking right you don't want your, your typical old flashlight something that's gonna have a lot of uh, power right that's gonna be waterproof um shock proof there you know you drop the sucker you don't want to bust your light up man you got an old, <laughs> old flashlight man that's it but something like this, really heavy duty. And I would say you can probably scare away some wildlife with the brightness and intensity on that thing. I mean, you know, they'll freak them out. They're scared of fire. Something like this, really scare the hell out of them. So just something to have. Again, you know, if you are um, busting on the side of the road, as you can see, the sucker is magnetic. Man, you can just uh, stick that on the side of the car, you know, put that intensity, and then side of your car, and... Uh, you know signal someone down and it'll hold that for a good while like I said you got about an hour or so or you can put on lower power
but that'll definitely, definitely get you noticed. So as you saw, like I said, compared to your standard LED, I mean, there, there really is no comparison. I just put them out there to compare so you can see an idea of the, the difference uh, in intensity. But again, ever since the first one, I've been very impressed with these guys. I'm going to leave a link in the description bar for those of you interested. You can pick it up. And like I said, this will make a good addition to like a three-day bag or something like that. Durable, waterproof, you know, resilient, man. And what I really love is you don't have to worry about the battery so much. Um, probably not good for a like a extended, I'm never coming home bag, right? But definitely three-day bag, get home bag, glove box, EDC. That is what I would see this ideal for right and uh, you're not going to worry about replacing that sucker for a long time that's that sucker's pretty resilient anyway hope you guys like it if you like it uh, if there's a link in the description bar you can check it out y'all have a good one